What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Kyle Carlson. This is the Vital BMX Weekly Update, where we discuss everything going on at vitalbmx.com and in the BMX world. I am currently in Portland, Oregon to check out my good friend and former pro BMX rider Ben Huckey's art show. If you didn't already know, since stepping away from being a full-time BMX rider, Ben is now a full-time artist. He is absolutely killing it in the art world. If you haven't checked out his stuff yet, I recommend you do it. His gallery in downtown Portland is called Shiny Things, and it's going to be up all month, so if you're around, go check that out. The first ever Toyota BMX Triples Challenge Tour is over. The final stop went down this past weekend in Atlanta, Georgia, and Logan Martin took the much-deserved win. Logan is doing quad whips like their double whips and is just continuing to slay everything in his path. His standout run from the weekend was a quad whip on the first set and a 720 bar spin to bar spin on the second, which is likely the craziest combination ever done on two jumps in a row. Jake Leva won best trick with a backflip triple tail whip. Kyle Baldock finished in second and took the overall win for the whole season. It was rad to see Kyle out there. He's riding better than ever. Kyle doesn't go to nearly as many contests as he used to, so hopefully this is a sign of things to come. It would be great to see him at the Feast World stops later this year, along with everything else going on. If you missed it, check out the highlights video on vitalbmx.com. The link is in the description. Colton Satterfield has officially launched Love and Rebel Denim Company. Colton put in a ton of time, research, development, and sampling and believes he has created the perfect gene for BMX riding. We caught up with Colton to get all the details about his new brand. Check out the story on vitalbmx.com or click the link in the description. The jeans are available for pre-order right now and should be having a massive launch at the beginning of April. Ben Lewis is no longer riding for fit. Definitely did not see this one coming. Ben cites creative differences. I don't know any details. Fit's been doing a lot of vlog-based content lately. That doesn't really seem to mesh with Ben. I have no idea if that's the case or not, but either way, all the best to Ben. He's still one of the top street riders coming out of Europe. He's still riding for Monster and Etnies, and I wouldn't be shocked if he has a new home very soon. Haro released images of the new 2017 Dave Mira Pro Tribute Bike. This bike looks amazing. It's still a few months out, but as soon as everything arrives at Haro headquarters, we're gonna stop by and learn more. Stay tuned for that. Corey Walsh dropped a new video for Colt this past week and it is absolutely badass. I've been a huge Corey Walsh fan for a long time. He came and stayed at my house and we shot a piece for Vital about a year and a half ago and it's just been full speed ahead from there. This new piece is probably the best thing he's ever put out. There are a few different sorts of clips in this video, like some that involve kicker ramps, but everything is solid and it's definitely worth your time. If you missed that, hit the link in the description. Also, Red Bull released an awesome new video of a BMX rider from Colombia with one leg named Julian Molina. Julian stays positive through his trials and tribulations and absolutely kills it on his bike. Hit the link in the description if you missed this. There are two big BMX events coming up this weekend. We have the Toronto X Jam up in Canada and the first stop of the Vans BMX Pro Cup down in Sydney, Australia. Stay tuned to vitalbmx.com for coverage from both of those events. And until next week, see ya.